a heartbreaking reality is setting in for the community of Parkland after 17 people were killed and more than a dozen injured when a gunman opened fire in a high school. Tonight, questions loom about what law enforcement knew about the suspected shooter. God of mercy, remember the survivors of this attack. Another attack on a school, a community, a nation. 17 balloons, one for each life taken too soon. What should have been just a normal school day, now forever remembered in horror. Screaming, we all started running, ran into our classrooms. Teachers frantically trying to protect their students amid chaos. And what was most frightening for me was watching these kids, you know, texting their parents, telling their oh. parents that they love them. And beloved football coach Aaron Feiss, a hero giving his own life to save others. When Aaron Feiss died, when he was killed, tragically, inhumanely, he did it protecting others. You can guarantee that because that's who Aaron Feist was. As investigators pour over evidence inside this huge high school, still a crime scene, more red flags about the former student, now murder suspect, 19-year-old Nicholas Cruz, making his first appearance in court today. We are charged with 17 counts of premeditated murder. Expelled from school, ties to a white supremacist group, and troubling posts on social media about his obsession with guns. The violence has to stop. We cannot lose another child in this country to violence in a school. A sentiment undoubtedly shared by every parent, child, teacher and student today. While authorities begin to officially identify the victims, Nicholas Cruz will remain in jail without bail. Wendy Wolfolk, NBC News, Parkland, Florida.